egg and I have a smoked cheddar cheese right here so we'll try two different kinds and um, you can choose whatever uh, cheese that you like and I have the ingredients right here I have a uh, pancake mix and what I'm gonna do is a little bit of twist I'm gonna put some cocoa powder on my um, pancake mix and probably like a tablespoon or something like that and I have an egg right here I got two large eggs and I have a breadcrumbs and I use this kind of breadcrumbs right here I'm pretty sure you would like this this is really really good you know I like this because it gives the texture and at the same time it keeps the cheese still intact and things like that so I would recommend to get this uh, Japanese breadcrumbs right here and what I have right here also that I'm going to add on my pancake mix is I'll put a little bit of uh, half a teaspoon of oregano I have a basil just to have a uh, a little taste of herb you know so it won't gonna be blunt so those are my ingredients and I have my pan right here it's heating up and we will start Three. okay guys so I have the pancake mix here I have half of a teaspoon of basil half a teaspoon of oregano and one tablespoon of cocoa powder so all we have to do is just mix it up there you go just like that and that should mix well and you can see the different color from the cocoa powder there you go so that's already mixed up okay we're going to start guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this cheese to the pancake mix roll it up and let them coat it there you go and what we're gonna do is put them in the egg mixture Ooh, that looks good. All right, we'll add the rest of them. Okay. Mix it up. Make sure that it's well coated. Okay. There's another one right here. So what we're gonna do is we will return it back to the pancake batter to have a double coating so it will stick pretty good here that's what we're gonna do okay and actually this is really easy you know all you have to do is just mix your cheese there you go put it back Put it back to your egg. Okay. Gonna get that mixture and roll it to your breadcrumbs. I'm pretty sure you would love this. This is really easy. All you have to do is from pancake mix to the egg and breadcrumbs. There you go. Okay. I just roll it. Make sure everything is well coated. It already looks pretty good.
and we have our oil it's heating up okay and just fry it it will just take like a minute to fry it and it should not take that long there you go Ooh, that looks good. Put it there. You can see it's doing pretty good. Oh, I can't wait to taste this. It is it is really good. Okay, and it's just easy, just like that. guys all right so we're going to turn it side oh look at that oh that's just a beautiful golden brown right there so that's what we're looking for if you see the crust right there that's what we want we want the crunch you know the creaminess of the cheese Oh, it just smells amazing. There you go. I'm pretty sure, guys, you would like this because this is very simple. All you have to do is just get a uh, pancake mix, egg, breadcrumbs. You're good. And whatever herbs that you like. You know, I like basil and a little bit of oregano. And put some cocoa powder. There you go, guys. there you go guys this is almost done see the see the texture right there if you see the texture right there that's what we're looking for right here see you can you can tell that it's really crunchy and that's what we're looking for and this is almost done you know it just takes me five seven minutes i'm i'm done so i'm gonna be getting ready for plating and i'll be right back with you guys see you there you go guys we're almost done and it doesn't take that long you know it's only like 10 15 minutes from prepping to frying and you would love this guys this is really good i can already smell and the texture is really good i like the crunchiness there you go guys here is our cheese stick oh if you can just look at the texture right there it's really delicious and i made some dip right here i just put mayonnaise and a little bit of ketchup and I know you will have these ingredients in your refrigerator and here's the finished product of our cheese stick and I hope that you enjoy this and once again thank you for watching please subscribe Anna and please thank you very much you have a great day guys